Our region's business is sponsored by PNC for the achiever in you. Our region's business. Innovation, transformation, momentum. Improving our communities and driving technologies that will shape our region for generations. The collaboration that brings vitality, prosperity, and life to living. Stay with us for the coming half hour as we examine in depth our region's business. Now, here's your host, Bill Flanagan. Today on our region's business, an all of the above approach to energy security. Plus, two local companies team up to provide water management services for oil and gas producers in our region. But first, taking on disposable plastic water bottles one refill at a time. A local startup called Evive Station is seeking to do just that by placing water machines on university campuses and office buildings throughout our region. Not only do the machines fill the bottles, they clean them. Tom Petrini is founder and chief strategy officer of the Evive Station. Lacey Carrick is business development manager with the company and welcome. Good to see both of you. Great to be here. Thank Covered a you. lot of entrepreneurial ideas over the years uh, on our region's business and in Pittsburgh. But this is one of the coolest ones I've come across. Tell me a little bit about the, the idea behind Evive Station, where it came from. Yeah, so back in 2007, I was part of Duquesne University's first go at the SMBA program that they have in place now. And we were at a conference, a group of us um, started a net impact chapter. And they gave um, all of the attendees reusable bottles but everyone was traveling from all over the US, so most people were in hotels and couldn't clean the bottle. Hmm. So that's really where the first vision came from. And then I carried this bottle, bottle around and took it through the airport security and realized that you could fill it up there, but you still had to clean it. And that vision sort of sparked and took a year, two years to develop a prototype and then kind of go full time after that. Begin to roll it out. I know you've raised uh, you've raised millions of dollars already for this idea. I think we have some video that shows how it actually works. So mm -hmm. we'll roll the we'll roll the video. Maybe you can explain what we're seeing there when somebody actually goes to use sure. the live station. Yeah, so at the bottom of the bottle that you get to use the station, there's a passive RFID tag. You scan it at the machine, you enter in a pin, and the content that you see while your bottle's being cleaned and refilled is customized to you. So, so there's video playing in the screen above where we see that cleaning and filling operation going on. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So the custom content, when you do your profile, you say that you're interested in sports or you're interested in outdoor activities, whatever it might be, and that's what you'll see. So, so the, this bottle, the, and we've got a, a few examples here, really pretty bottle, by the way. But Thank there's you. a tag in here. Mm -hmm. So the bottle actually, or the machine knows, if this is my bottle, they know it's me. It does. And then they can tailor the message that appears on the video video screen to the person actually mm -hmm. who owns this particular bottle. Mm -hmm. Now I begin to see the advertising <laughs> opportunity here, Lacey. So that's your job doing business development for Revive. So how does that work? I mean, what, what's, what's the value proposition? Well, for advertisers, there's a few ways that they can look at it. Um, by and large, the college demographic has been difficult to advertise directly on campus, and this gives them a way to get in front of students with unique messaging. Um, the student fills out this profile, and they we have their basic demographic information, but like Tom said, they fill out what they're interested in as well. So the advertiser knows who they're actually putting their message in front of, which is nice, especially for recruitment um, and internship opportunities we can target to a finance major, maybe an uh, internship in finance at UPMC in the summer. One of the advertisers who's really taken a hold of this is Seven Springs, and they've created custom content for us. we got which a is, video that shows exactly what yes. so that's the spot they created was literally for, for the For us, and it's actually really interactive. So the people on the screen are saying, hey, WVU, after you get this water, what are you doing? Come up to Seven Springs. We have eight feet of snow, and the jumps are amazing. And they make up these really fun ads that speak directly to the students and they've done that actually for every location we're at so now that we're at American Eagle they've made one specifically for that market and the student or whoever's interacting with the ad can actually request more information about what they see during the time of 
the transaction of getting their water. And, and so what, about 60 seconds or so to, to, to fill the bottle? and. Yes, it's about 60 seconds to clean and fill, and then we also have a quick fill option, which is nice if your bottle's already clean and you just want water and you don't feel like waiting to get the bottle cleaned, you can just grab water and go. And that's actually opened up to any type of bottle instead of the Avise specific bottle. Okay, so the cleaning can only happen if you have the Avise yes. specific, but you're giving away free water. So what, the advertising model here is really critical, right? It's the advertising that ultimately pays the bill for the water. It is, absolutely. Yeah, but the, the cleaning is really the basis behind the business and what drives people to use the machine. Um, the efficiency behind it is pretty tremendous. Um, we see each machine getting about 300 uses a day and 40% of those are cleans and the other 60% are people that just refill. Um, so to do all of that, it costs $1.24 a day for all of the electricity and for all of the water that flows through it. If you compare that to hand washing, um, it's tremendously more efficient in, in the 90% range. Um, if you took 25 bottles and individually cleaned them in a dishwasher or put individually in a, I'm sorry, individually in the machine versus clean all of them in a dishwasher at the same time, our machine is more energy efficient. Wow, so there's a good environmental impact there, mm -hmm. not to mention the whole plastic bottle issue itself, which is an enormous environmental issue across the country, I guess, and around the world, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, of the certainly. disposable bottles. Now, uh, Lacey mentioned American Eagle, which is the headquarters uh, mm -hmm. on, the, on, the, on the south side here in Pittsburgh. Uh, WVU, you mm -hmm. mentioned. So where else are these, bottle, are these machines already deployed? Yeah, we have a machine at CMU, and we're expanding there. Um, we have stations at Slippery Rock and now at Mercyhurst, and we'll be expanding to a YMCA next week. Okay, and so we're, so up and down I-79, sort of right from Erie, sure. to, Erie to Morgantown right now. Is the, is the plan ultimately bigger than just our region? Certainly. We're talking to locations all across the United States, and we've had interest from universities overseas as well. Hmm. So it's a matter of making everything work here and then expanding. Well, that's great. And uh, it, well, it, it's fascinating stuff. If people want to find out more about the about the company, the product, or the closest machine to you, where do mm -hmm. they go? EvivStation.com is the the website. Okay. Well, that's easy enough to remember. Well, it's mm -hmm. a really fun idea. I hope it goes well. And great to see this kind of innovation happen right here in our region. Tom Petrini, Lacey Carrick from Evive Station. Thanks so much. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And next up, from consumers to big corporate customers thirsty for a water solution, Aquatech's growing business in water management. Stay with us.